Hey, how's it going? I'm over at Orange Gate Properties. Hadn't been here in a while, so I just wanted to come by and do a little walk over here. Haven't used this Steadicam thing in a while either. It doesn't work very good, but it's better than the shakiness of when I just carry the camera alone. Not really anything going to be very special in this video, it's just a walk. The weather we've been having in the summer has been brutal. And when I go to different places, I find, excuse me, the vegetation that has flourished and the vegetation that has died out has changed quite a bit over the past five years. A lot of places, Some places like when I go to Blueberry Park, I mean, I've been going there since I was eight, and man, the, the, the way that the vegetation has changed there is just, there's a radical difference. And when people try to say that, oh, climate change isn't really happening, I'm like, really? I mean, you can see over the period of years how it's changed. And that's just in my lifetime. <laughs> you know, in another 40 years, <laughs> we're, uh... <laughs> the the right-wingers and the Republicans and the fucking science deniers are going to be well well we we always knew it was happening but but we we doubt that it's man made or something like that right it's like <laughs> okay let's just go with their thing right let's let's say it's not man made any little bit that we can affect that change <laughs> To, to keep us from having to move underground, literally, uh, we should be doing. There's a lot of people out there who's try, who are trying to shove, oh, well, space exploration. No. We can't afford that. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, there are eventually going to be some rich people that go live up in space. Whoop-de-doo. Right, then we have all the... Uh, <laughs> The problems to deal with there when it comes to living in zero gravity and what it does to the human body, you know. But yeah, we're gonna have some rich people living up in space. But we're not going to... <laughs> it would take like 20 years of of uh, the D GDP of the entire planet, <laughs> 20 years of that, to pay for something like a, uh, <laughs> let's just house everyone in space. I mean, just, people are so, well, it's just not feasible. We're gonna be able to, uh, to, to keep global warming from continuing. So let's go up in space. It's much more feasible. No, it isn't. No. The truth is, we're going to have to find a way to live on this planet once the uh, temperatures become something that is unsustainable. So we'll probably go move underground. I mean, there is there are already people that... Man, out here too. Um, there are 
already communities that are living out of uh, tunnels drilled into a mountain. I mean, there's shopping malls and the whole works. You know, I think that's more the route that things are going to go. No matter what, there's going to be a lot of people dying. It's sad. But there's not really much we can do about it. Except slow it down. We can <laughs> make it so maybe it won't be just a few generations from now that uh, we'll be living underground. Maybe we can expand it out to maybe ten generations and then we'll be living underground. But people don't, don't even want to admit that it's a problem. Man, it's so frustrating. <laughs> There'll be a little point in, look, this place had a little bit more snow this year. <laughs> Therefore, global warming isn't happening. <laughs> so, all right. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Science denial. Oh, well, look, look, we can find uh, three scientists that say that... Uh, Global warming isn't really happening, therefore it's not happening. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yay. <sighs> I mean, it just takes a few degrees and we're fucked. <laughs> Shit, it just takes one degree and we're going to be fucked. Watch the ocean is warm up just a, a degree. Yeah, uh, we're, we're... Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> no matter what, in several decades, people are probably going to have to move away from the coasts. Oh, but it's, it's not important. It's not really happening, it's... It's all just a big conspiracy to make it hard for businesses, right? <laughs> That's the logic people have, it just... People that don't want to think about any sort of change, whether it's necessary or not. No, let's not think about change. Will be a bunch of neophobes about everything. Tradition will get us through. Uh, no, it won't. Not this. Not this type of thing. <laughs> and eventually, it's not going to get people through when it comes to uh, dealing with uh, issues of racism and sexism and. All the other isms. Yeah, it's your traditions aren't going to get you through that. You can only pull the wool over your, your eyes and other people's eyes for so long. So. I don't know. We'll just have to see what happens. Lots of horse shit on the trail. I'm still really glad that I live somewhere as beautiful as this. I feel very, very fortunate.
and that I can walk here in shorts and my kind of half shirt or shirtless or whatever, and I don't have to worry about ticks or poisonous insects or poisonous plants. I'm very fortunate. I could say that I'm lucky, but what does luck mean? What does that word really even mean? Lucky has it, um. For the lucky and the strong or whatever that is. The lyrics to the song The Rose by Bette Midler. And just thinking about how, yeah, I get out of breath pretty easy from being this heavy. People tell me, oh, it's so hard on your knees. There's some truth to that. But what's stranger is what was harder on my knees is when I was thinner, I would continually sit on my leg. Continually, I just would do it instinctively. That really fucked up my knees. And when I'm heavy, I actually have decent posture. Something I've never had previous to that. I suppose now that I'm used to this and I, if I got thinner, then maybe I'd still have good posture? No. I know I would go right back to the way I was. So... But, uh, uh, there are still people out there who just are so, they get angry that I like something that they don't understand. Like someone who, whose name starts with a Q, <laughs> just pisses him off that I like being heavy. I mean, it's fine that it, someone doesn't understand it, but for it to piss someone off is weird. It's like, well, you know, I may have to pay for the, the problems with that with my taxes if you get sick or whatever. Well, <laughs> big whoop de fucking do You know, I'm a tiny statistic. Not even... I'm a speck of a statistic. So anyway... <laughs> um, that concludes this little jaunt. And have a good day.